This video shows a project that we created using LEGO Mindstorms EV3 and Simulink. This is a sneak peek of the project in action where the robot is avoiding traffic cones. The obstacle avoidance algorithm that is used here was built in Simulink and the generated code was deployed onto EV3. The cones and the algorithm were set up intentionally so that the robot will run into a new obstacle every time it avoids one. After we set up the LEGO EV3 robot into this specific configuration, we had to do two things. Communicate with the ultrasonic sensor and control the individual motors. The Simulink support already provides you with a block that lets you read the distance values of objects in front of the sensor. The algorithm that we used to avoid obstacles requires that the robot precisely follows the desired speed at all times. So in order to design the controller for this specific motor, we needed an accurate plant model of the motors. We know general differential equations that govern motor characteristics, but we needed actual data from this motor. For this, we use Simulink to do the data acquisition. Then, using this data, we can estimate the parameters that are specific for this motor. Let's go to Simulink to see the model that we used to collect the data from EV3. The reference signal here makes the motor ramp up and down a lot so that the data that we collect can be used to create a good mathematical model of the motor. Note, the Simulink model here is in external mode, which allowed us to monitor the signals, and using this feature, we log the data in a desired format. We use the Run on Target hardware tab to generate and download the code automatically to the appropriate EV3. From the scope, we can see that the data collected is really noisy. To filter this, we created a MATLAB-based script. We set up the reference signal so that the acquired data can be broken up into two portions. One for estimation and one for validation. To do the parameter estimation, we used the block diagram equivalent of the motors and used Simulink Design Optimization tool to estimate the motor's parameters. It is essentially an optimization problem to reduce the error between the simulation data with different values for these parameters and the experimental data. We can see that as the error value reduces, the simulation and experimental results start matching each other. This tool automatically stores the final optimized parameter values in the workspace for future reference. Now that we had created the mathematical model for this specific motor, we were able to tune the PID controller in simulations. Then we created this model, which implements the PID controller and uses the actual encoder data from EV3 motor. Using external mode in Simulink, we tuned the controller while the code is still running on the EV3 brick. The parameter estimation results and the designed PID controller helped us quickly tune the motor to follow the reference speed accurately. This was also advantageous compared to the trial and error methods as the motors do not get unstable with this technique. Now that we have got the motor to behave in the exact same way we wanted it, it was time for us to test our obstacle avoidance algorithm. We created a 3D version of the EV3 in sim mechanics and used the controller that we just designed to ensure that the algorithm does not introduce any instability. We mimicked obstacles in front of the robot by providing pulses as distance values. The obstacle avoidance algorithm used here is merely a proof of concept one. State flow allowed us to model the two states that this robot would most frequently need, roam around and avoid collision. Inside the avoid collision state, we made the robot to alternate between turning right and turning left every time it encounters a new obstacle. Then the robot merely loops around objects for a set period of time, which we chose based on our observations on how long it takes for the robot to loop around obstacles of different sizes. For the actual robot, we use the same state logic and the controller that we designed and we use the distance value from the actual ultrasonic sensor to determine if there are obstacles in front of the robot. 